complete chaos. Yeah, it is chaos. That's that's right. That's what it is. It is what it is. Try to make this one more interesting for you to watch. Uh, that one running here, there's a, a machine uh, scoring ECG waveforms. I did notice how, so this is me just essentially testing it. You can watch it. I mean, you can try it yourself. There's a link in the comments. Oops. So, meant to, so I'm trying to save water for this one. Um, those essentially act as the water sources here. They actually act as uh, incubators. So they actually generate uh, some uh, life uh, around them. Yeah, if you actually have drops of water moving there on top, they actually generate more stuff, which is more interesting. But yes, it is definitely chaos. Life is chaos, isn't it? Welcome. You can watch this if you like. Hopefully it's actually generating life. You can try it yourself and let me know. You know, essentially try to minimize water usage because we don't want to overuse water and uh, still keep life uh, going. Maybe another incubator over here somewhere just in case uh, life is uh, kickstarting all of a sudden, like over there, then it can actually spread those. These rocks there don't actually do anything, do they? I uh, can get rid of them. It's some uh, water there potentially. Maybe a bit uh, more interesting. Chaos is interesting though, isn't it? I was actually thinking uh, chaos uh, simulators and like they actually had something like that, uh, but it didn't didn't work. <laughs> surprise, surprise! <laughs> chaos, <laughs> chaos didn't work. But yeah. Surprise, surprise, chaos didn't work. Yeah, when I'm when I'm live streaming, there's a lot. Uh, yeah, I think YouTube, the algorithms, the algorithm gods actually promoting my channel somehow and I get a lot more traffic. And I don't think I actually contribute much by, you know, showing my face and voice. I think it's pretty annoying as it is, but then there's something uh, going on the screen, it uh, probably generating as much traffic as if I would have done something. But uh, yeah, eventually we want to like two bots, have two bots just chatting to one another and develop, developing for me. So I can just go have a nap and the bots will keep chipping away, developing hopefully somewhat uh, interesting applications. You know, can have your own uh, mini me. You just set it off, and it keeps uh, developing code. Because the code surprisingly just works. But yeah, just before we're trying to fix this uh, brain 3D modeling thing, it's used to work. It's to do. It's after the bot actually. The bot is fine. It's having trouble uh, figuring out exactly which uh, you know CDN uh, JavaScript code to use because there's uh, loads. And uh, all the examples uh, when like the older does not updated. It's having trouble, but no, it's not hallucinating. When it's hallucinating, it's probably doing it for a reason, as do humans. Yeah, notice with this one, it actually stops running after the machine reaches. Oh, actually, it's when the human score drops below a certain number. Well, it's essentially, yeah. A bit of a bug but then it's really like a feature uh, because it essentially means the human is not uh, is out it's not engaged it's not paying attention yeah and i'm having some trouble with some of the applications are essentially too heavy and they time out yeah this one have to we'll have to go over it at some stage yeah and secret is that you can actually go sitemap uh, my bionicchaos.com sitemap uh, xml I actually see everything i'm currently working on um, and there's about 90 tools and uh, the front page is only about uh, 30 20 30 25 or so are formally published the rest you can actually see in the sitemap xml which, and there's about 90 of them 
uh, so essentially 90 ongoing micro projects mostly around EEG, ECG but then imaging yeah eye tracking music from hands I mean still biomedical right it's your hands so uh, yeah plus I had the uh, quite success quite a bit of success with the EEG to music generator it actually work yeah it still works you can scroll with your keyboard I should have it running like an option to run it in a loop so again when I go away <laughs> from my live stream it could be just you know, generating content for me no it's not that interesting because it will be deterministic right so uh, you know what uh, is it going to generate could still probably scroll randomize it somehow scroll select a random channel out of 16 those are actually actual EEG recordings intracranial from the surface of the brain in uh, animal subjects uh, I don't know, can you do something with the window window size I'm thinking how to essentially automate uh, this the volume actually there was a bug there it will be hard to explain what the bug actually is but uh, it's essentially when you have auto volume so it's louder when you have a seizure there and soft uh, when there's no seizure yeah because this screen is actually auto scaling I know some some people are not uh, um, big fans of uh, auto scaling charts like that but you know bad luck yes can uh, have uh, another option for disabling that but it could be a whole separate uh, web application tool uh, doing just that yeah let me know if you want me to cover any of those obviously i made them so i should know what are they doing yes the robot wrote the code uh, for them and the text on the page but um, <laughs> yeah people will keep arguing <laughs> it's like they'll, they'll be saying uh, it's not your content so, no it is my content uh, you can see from the previous live streams how much time it took yeah probably the longest one yeah was this uh, ECG label bot yeah the original version was quite quick it only had the human scoring so essentially you had to click on it but now it's also has a machine it's a fuzzy logic system that's labeling the waveforms with you or against you I guess it depends how you look at it it does show you everything it does so so you could uh, collaborate with the machine don't, well at least don't fight it <laughs> there you have no chance I have a video like uh, from six months ago or so where I'm reaching about a score of 1000 it's getting faster as you go so every 50 points it's going faster and faster uh, the machine yes it did a few errors to begin with but then uh, even with some noise yes if I increase the noise it will start uh, making more errors and um, yes and that's okay so in this case it's essentially saying everything is abnormal even the normal uh, ECG yes it's not doing misses but it's it will continue doing false uh, false alarms but any anyhow it's still much better than a human yeah the music music could do yeah really should had some more music stuff that was in the in the works um, well we have hearing yeah so I have cochlear cochlear related stuff is that music well it is music you need hearing to hear music um yeah that's the cochlear similar ah someone was yeah complaining 
not complaining, sorry, saying uh, they can't get the higher frequency electrodes to actually activate. Well, the trick would be a turning off a low pass filter, turning high pass, and uh, wrapping it up a bit, seeing where you're essentially testing your microphone, really, in this case. Uh, because you could see if it's peaking. So I have a broader range, frequency range microphone. I don't know, it's a audio technica, something, something model, whatever. So if I go with my high pass, it can still pick up essentially frequencies about uh, 17 kilohertz or so. So quite a bit. And you see the high frequency electrodes within the cochlear model uh, do get activated. So yes, it's 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 a model, right? So it's just essentially testing how good your microphone is. But yes, interior could add a feature where you calibrate uh, the frequency range for your microphone. But uh, yeah, obviously I was testing with my own, so that's just how it works. Um, yeah, so is it music related? Maybe, maybe not. I want to turn anything into music actually. So music, music is not music. Yeah, this one has music in it. I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, I was actually using it for meditating. You can. So if that's how I feel at the moment, with my, you know, thoughts racing, brain racing, whatever, then you have a, okay, can, maybe that's, so adjust it to how I feel at the moment. Yeah, maybe like this. But I'm thinking about 20, there's actually 20, there's a reason why there's 20. Uh, we're meant to be mapping uh, EEG onto onto this. So instead of reviewing EEG as you uh, normally would. Uh, where's the EEG? Yeah, we'll need to do more work on the EEG viewer. Yeah, this one is the one that is loading for quite some time. Yeah, so we want to add, uh, yeah, so normally you obviously review EG like that. It's actually, yeah, there's something funny about this web application. I have to get back to it. It's just, uh, um, yeah, you can, uh, can do off and then choose your separation. Then you can do group by side. So it's left and right side or overlay all. Well, overlay all is essentially like off overlay option with a separation value of zero. So we didn't really uh, need that option there, but you know, it's already there, so <laughs> it's gonna stay there. So normally you review EG like this from left to right, uh, scrolling the screen, normally you have a play button, you just, uh, but um, if hypothetically you could uh, review EG in any other way. So this could be an EEG clock, so you will have the number of electrodes be your, say, number of channels and the speed will be, well, speed is, what speed is your amplitude? Well, amplitude could be the size of the particles, they can be smaller or larger. Uh, there's no option like that in here at the moment. There's speed, you can adjust the speed, so essentially you have um, amplitude and frequency that's it and uh, your time window is important so it's actually important to know uh, so say if they're doing a you know a full uh, 360 circle you know certain channel then you should know what the time window for that was was it the normal it will be like 10 seconds or something that you will be reviewing in in here actually there's a lot more data in there. It's actually a whole seizure there. You can, sometimes they overlay them slightly just so you can see kind of what's going on, but yeah, that's a seizure there. Yeah, I like the interface of this. This is a Plotly a library, Plotly.js. Yeah, again, it's from a CDN. So there should be actually acknowledgement there. Well, the acknowledgement is this uh, overlay of uh, plotly stuff if you go to that link it will show you the, the many other projects 
So how am I feeling now? How do I feel about this one? You can actually uh, lower it yourself and uh, you know try and adjust your brain. You can actually use yeah, you can use the keyboard uh, left and right, up and down as well. Ideally, you want it to go slow. I'll probably want to only be thinking about one thing so you could also reduce the number of particles. Actually talk about one thing at a time. Uh, this one is actually using quite a bit of my uh, GPU. Close this. Yeah, that one, the problem with it is that uh, if the human is not there, after a while it actually stops. Well, because it's kind of assuming no one is looking at it might close it as well yeah we'll be working on all those you can actually see uh, what currently we have in the in the works by looking at this page but yeah this is not uh, for humans essentially 